This is a day I don't think I'll be able to put in accurate words. There are a lot of photos, a lot of ground was covered, and some of the most miraculous, captivating, wonder-filled sites in all of America for sure. I'll let the photos and the videos tell their own story. This is day 15 of the Summer of Wonder road trip through the Rockies, and it was full of wonder. There is nothing in this world, in my world anyway, than the sunrise in the Tetons. Lex is taking a quick morning swim. Good morning from day 15, Summer of Wonder. Gosh, it is the Summer of Wonder. Road trip through the Rockies. How about this morning? Beautiful morning in the Tetons, and we're headed to the city. Another day, another fire, another really great campsite. I was very skeptical being in a national park. Sometimes the actual sites just aren't that great. And this one is awesome. I had a wonderful place to put up my tent, other than the fact that the ground is really hard. But you can see there's people close by, but not too close. And then we're right on the edge, going down to the beach, where Mount Moran is just starting to wake up in the sunshine over there. A little morning chai. It's about 45 degrees, maybe 50. It was chilly in the night, but really good sleeping weather. All the traveling and all the fun and all the swimming. At the end of the day, she's just a tired mom's girl. That's such a cool girl. Some real deer babies. Oh, they're cute. So we're off leaving Signal Mountain, a place where I could easily have stayed a week and used that as a home base. It feels funny being in Grand Teton, in the Tetons for one night and then being like, okay, goodbye. Um, I've been here a bunch of times, it never gets old, but we actually have new fish to fry today. So, I'm so excited to be going to a couple of places that have been on my bucket list for a long time. We are driving all the way up through Yellowstone, which I've done before, but also never gets old. So see how long that takes, and then we're headed north from there. This day has been marked on my calendar for a very long time. I hope you can enjoy every bit of it with me. Let's go! Okay, Lex and I are headed out of the Tetons from the back end. We're almost to Flag Ranch, which is the northernmost point basically of the Tetons and stopped for a different kind of view on the other end of Jackson Lake, the northern end. And I broke out my Triangle X hat I want everybody to see, which is the only working long-term dude ranch in the Tetons and it is pretty epic. Thought it would be appropriate to have the hat. Check out the view. Okay, we are in Yellowstone and have been for about an hour. Um, this isn't a big stop for us, which may sound crazy, but been here several times, love it. But my goal today is north of Yellowstone, and this is actually the quickest way to get there. And I certainly don't mind going through Yellowstone National Park. So we are approaching one of the coolest areas in the park, which is Hayden Valley, well known for plethora of animals. So I'm hoping that we see some bison, maybe some elk, even a moose, maybe some antelope. We'll see what we can see on our way through. Maybe a jackalope? Just saying. Well, here's an example of fire. Not a recent one. Everything's starting to grow back, but it looks a little desolate in here for sure. I'm just making a quick stop at the mud volcanoes. Can't take Lexi on any of the trails, even these little ones. So it'll be quick. Pretty wild. Pretty freaky.
Welcome to Hayden Valley. So many animals in this area. And we're gonna start out with a herd of bison. And they're pretty far away, but you get the idea. The Yellowstone River and Hayden Valley. Bison everywhere. Well, he clearly had some place to be because he walked across the road right behind my car. They are definitely in charge out here, so you just kind of have to roll with it. All right, I see a bunch of cars stopped up here, so there's either more or there's something else. Let's go see. Okay, so the scoop is that there's probably about 50 cars stopped here because there are some wolves up here on this hill. I don't think we have the patience. We've been sitting here for about 10 minutes and we've got a lot of driving to do, but how cool is that? in the Lamar Valley, which is near the northeast entrance of Yellowstone. It's spectacular. And of course, there's lots and lots of buffalo. Right. So this is my last buffalo video. Big Bubba down here is standing, nope, here comes another one. Big Bubba down here is standing in front of this truck and he will not move. He has been standing there for 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, he finally went. There he goes. We headed out from there to the northeast entrance of Yellowstone and then through the small towns of Silvergate and Cook City in Montana. Both of them were super charming, teeny tiny, and had just fun little quirky things. I especially loved my visit to the general store called Stop the Car Trading Post where I met people from Virginia and discovered we have mutual friends from teaching in Prince William County, Virginia. Such a freaking small world. I also got a kick out of some of the signage and the fun things in Cook City and then finally ready to check off Beartooth Pass from my bucket list. Let's go. All right. Not sure what's going on here, but hi guys. Thanks for welcoming us. Wow, this is turning out to be such a fascinating afternoon. I made it to Beartooth Highway. I'm on it and I'm super psyched except that it's cloudy and was raining really hard a little bit ago so I don't know if it's going to be if the views are going to be great so thankfully it's close enough to Red Lodge which is our destination tonight that if we can't get the full experience then I will do it in the sunshine tomorrow. We're officially above 10,000 feet and it's 43 degrees and raining a little sideways, but it's still spectacular. Oh, okay, it's 41 degrees. It's like 10,500 feet up here, and the sky is starting to clear a little bit, so we might hang out, but check out this view. I hope you can see it to some extent anyway. See the road. Gosh, it's blowing snow. It's blowing snow up here. Holy moly. Wow. Made even more so because of the rain. And now the 
sun. We reached the summit, almost 11,000 feet, freezing cold and absolutely stunning. The layers of mountains just blew my mind and so many lakes at the top, some of which were still partially frozen in late August. And the twin lakes here, which are just so stunning. From here, we headed down the mountain. It took quite a long time. Best little surprise awaited, which was our perfect little tiny house cabin in Red Lodge. We're exhausted. We'll see you tomorrow. Please like and subscribe.